The Networker module for Microsoft version 3.0, also known as NMM 3.0, provides support for the SQL Server 2012 Always On Availability groups. During a federated backup, NMM will detect the SQL Server preferred backup setting for the availability group and perform the backup on the preferred node. The DBA can then decide whether to perform a scheduled backup or a federated backup. This demo will walk through configuring SQL Server Management Studio to perform a backup on a secondary replica for an always-on availability group. I will then start a backup from the SQL Server Management Studio. I have launched the SQL Server Management Studio and will continue to configure a backup on the secondary replica. In the Object Explorer, I want to connect to the server instance that hosts the primary replica, so I click the server name to expand the server tree. I will now expand the Always On High Availability node, and then click the Availability group whose backup preference I will configure, and then I will select the Properties command. In the Availability group Properties dialog box, I will select the Backup Preference page. I will now choose where the backup should occur. So for example, the preferred secondary, this specifies that backup should occur on a secondary replica, except when the primary replica is the only replica online. In that case, the backup should occur on the primary replica. This is the default configuration. Secondary only specifies that a backup should never be performed on the primary replica. If the primary replica is the only replica online, the backup should not occur. Primary specifies that a backup should always occur on the primary replica. This option is useful when you need features such as creating a differential backup that are not supported when a backup is run on a secondary replica. You will select the Any Replica when you prefer that a backup job ignore the role of the availability replicas when choosing the replica to perform the backup. The Replica Backup Priorities grid is used to change the backup priority of the availability replicas. This grid displays the current backup priority of each server instance that hosts a replica for the availability group. The grid columns are as follows. The server instance is the name of the SQL server that hosts the availability replica. The backup priority is used to select the priority for performing a backup on this replica relative to other replicas in the same availability group. One indicates the lowest priority and 100 indicates the highest priority. So for example, if you select one, the availability replica would be chosen for performing backups only if no higher priority available replica is available. You can choose to exclude a replica. This means that you will never want the replica to be chosen for performing backups. This is useful, for example, for a remote availability replica to which you never want a backup to fail over. We will select OK to commit our changes. In this demo, I have shown how to configure the SQL Server Management Studio for federated backups. Details on how to start a networker-protected backup from the SQL Server Management Studio can be found by watching the demo called EMC Networker Module for Microsoft 3.0 SSMS SQL Backup.